Hello and welcome back to SirKentSaid.com. I want to take a moment and focus on something that I haven't heard a lot of chatter about online. And it's a shame because it's really, really good. I want to talk about uh, Monarch Legacy of Monsters on Apple TV+. Plus. If you were looking for a reason to get um, Apple TV+, Plus, another streaming service I know, this would be it. And then cancel that shit at the end of the series. That's what everybody else does. I was unable to get, uh, find out how much it costs per episode, of, um, how much it costs all together. But the effects in this are beautiful. When the monsters show up, they are big screen worthy. It is fantastic to see the monsters that I've seen so far. Um, however, they've put a twist on it in the fact that they focus more on the human element or the agency behind the workings. I shouldn't say behind the workings of the monsters. Monarch is an agency that was tasked with tracking, monitoring, and whenever possible recording and covering up facts about the monsters whenever they showed up. And anybody who got too close, well, they handled that shit. Um, they was a bunch of motherfuckers. They were black hat all the way. They were going to scenes after a kaiju attack. Um, they wouldn't help people. They were just to record. They were to record and take samples if they could. Um, <laughs> which was a perfect atmosphere for a motherfucker to have um, a dual life. Uh, case in point, um, Takahiro Hiro, who plays uh, Hiroshi Ronda, who was an agent for Monarch, who had two, two lives. Two wives, one in San Francisco, one in Japan. Two kids, one in San Francisco, one in Japan. Papa was a rolling stone, and wherever he uh, laid his dick was his home. Um, yeah, he was sh he was uh, serving up dick like a short order cook. Dick, pick it up. But uh, yeah, um, May. Oh, I'm sorry, not May. Kate, in the uh, wake of a death in the family, travels to Japan to what she thinks is an empty apartment where her father used to live, only to find that she has a stepmother and stepbrother. The stepbrother, um, Kentaro, um, is unaware of her, and there's a slight confrontation, disbelief, when she just walks into their goddamn apartment in Japan and slowly but surely they come to find out that yeah daddy was a Rolling Stone who had a shit ton of secrets and one of those was including a secret safe that um, Kentaro had been to forever never knew it was there containing files that Monarch does not want out in the on the open, and thanks to his girlfriend May, um, they know that they have it, and they proceed to try and track these kids down. Thanks, Pop. So I like how the show has managed to tie timelines together. Um, they keep flashing back and forth between uh, Lieutenant Lee Shaw, uh, young Lee Shaw. And then um, Lee Shaw of the time, Lee Shaw was uh, assigned to Dr. Kiko Murray, who was um, trying to find out more about the kaiju. And let's just say, don't get too used to her. Um, and 
her assistant, uh, Bill Randa, no relationship. And uh, they set off back in the 60s, I think, to start invest or no, not even the 60s, maybe the 50s, um, to investigate kaiju in the very, very early stages. Um, I like how we get to look behind the curtain of the agency and see some of the inner working so far. I like how they are tying everything together with the nukes going off in the, in the uh, Asian Pacific, um, stuff like that. Um, I really like how they're tying stuff together time-wise. That is very cool to see. Again, if you are struggling with Brother and I to get Apple TV Plus, this would be that excuse. And in 30 days, cancel the shit. That's what everybody else does. Um, all in all, this has been a really, really good watch. Uh, one of the reasons it is so good is because it's done so well. Uh, Apple really put their foot in this shit. Um, again, for being one of the, or one of the, the poorest of the streaming services, which is shocking for how much uh, Apple products cost. Last time I checked, they cost like a bunch of goddamn money. Um, yeah, I can, if you're into Godzilla or monster movies, um, you are definitely going to watch, want to watch this. And again, even though they focus more on the human side of it, the kaiju do make an appearance. And boy, when they make an appearance, they make an appearance. Um, so again, I am pleasantly pleased and shocked by this. I am definitely going to give it an 8 out of 10. And those are my thoughts. And I'll see you on the other side.